What's good, everybody? It is your boy, Rough Fly K Clutch here 2470. We are here, highly requested video in the CFM world. And it's what abilities am I going to put on somebody when it comes to building my team up and for my scheme and things of that nature? I'm gonna show you guys how to build it up for a run, build it up for the pass, build it up for your offense, build it up for the defense on both sides of the ball. We're going to get it all done for you guys like this. Make sure you guys go and leave a like comment down below. Some other stuff that you guys like to know about CFM subscribe. If you guys are new and let's jump straight into the video. Now we're going to go position by position. So this is going to be a little bit longer of a video. Now let's go ahead straight to quarterback. And as a matter of fact, since we're already on our cover athlete, Josh Allen, we're going to go ahead and give you guys the best abilities to have when you're sitting here wanting to have a quarterback. Now, that basically has built-in abilities, you got to watch out to not mess up the abilities sometimes. Like, sometimes the abilities, you'll have like tier three, tier fours over here on this side, especially like last year. If you took it out of there, you wasn't able to get them back. But I'm pretty sure this year you can actually have like, yeah, you can have a hot wire master down here in this spot if you want to. So you really don't have to worry about that that much. This year, like if you unlocked it, you unlocked it. You can have all tier three, tier fours if you want to. But the best thing that you need for a quarterback that's going to pass the ball is if you need it, you can have hot route master. You can do things of that nature, but most likely it's going to have to be in this slot. No, not in the slot. It was going to have to be one of the abilities that you need. Next, you got to have gunslinger, fearless and either pass lead elite or set feet lead. Now, the difference is why your feet are set, set feet lead. And this is just a pass lead. Is if you if you're leading your pass, you're going to get that extra throw power. You're going to get throw power on your on when you set your feet. No matter if you're leading a pass or not. If you're a pocket quarterback, you normally will have set feet lead. If you're mobile, you most likely will need to have pass lead lead. You have them both together. Boy, oh boy, set feet lead and pass lead lead is just nasty. But as you guys can see, you cannot get set feet lead in this slot is what i'm saying so here in this slot here right here number two you can have the dashing dead eye or you can fix it into another ability that i feel like is now back because of the update that they had when this fatigue came in also another thing that came with that update was a conductor boost the conductor boost makes you have another hot route just twice as fast when i sit here and do my trips tight end I normally will have to put two or three routes out on the field at all times. So with conductor on, and I could just go ahead and shift my line, I need a mic and hit two of my routes all before I can, I mean, all before the defense can get set in literally three seconds. This is what I need right here to keep the pace going, keep it at a high pace where people need to literally set up their defense to make it work. This is what I would need on my quarterback. So I gotta have conductor on. Gotta have fearless on because if anybody rushes a quarterback, this fearless is definitely going to take an effect. You can have the gunslinger on, or like I said, you can keep the set feet lead and pass lead lead on at the same time. Gunslinger, you definitely might need that as well. And honorable mentions that you need to have if you don't want the pass lead lead set feet lead together is you can have a threat detector. You can, yeah, honestly, I would save threat detector and use it for off as alignment but if you can't you can use this on here as well for the third and fourth downs you don't know who's going to blitz you you kind of want help out with that you can use a threat detector um protected doesn't work as much as it should but i only use protected if i have low overall offense alignment like under 70 overall at this point just to help out with an extra blocking boost you know because at some point sometimes you don't need offensive line but sometimes you do need offensive line, so I'll put protected on. Inside dead eye is a very, very sneaky one because no matter where you throw it, if it's inside the numbers, it is a dot, it's a laser, it's going to hit right in the hands. You just got to make the right read. Another good one that you can use is sideline dead eye. Like if you have a pocket quarterback, let's go ahead and do that actually. Let's give you a pocket quarterback type of, you know, type of combination that works out for you. Now, you could use the conductor, like I said. You can use Hot Route Master, like I said. If you don't want these, um, what you call it, if you don't want to use all this, you can take the Gunslinger out, put Inside Dead Eye on. 
if you throw it more to the sideline, you side eye dead eye. Sideline dead eye. Because it throws it right on the sideline, it throws it right on that spot where it needs to be, where the corner cannot get it. And an in inside dead eye, it's literally gonna throw right into his hands every single time. It's gonna show blue every single time. It's actually a very, very nice ability. Um inside dead eye is. Um high point dead eye only works under 20 yards, but it's very underrated because if you need the high point and you need to have a very very good high point especially in the red zone yo red zone 20 yard line high point dead eye is deadly it is is no pun intended but it is so good like you you need a high point dead eye to throw to you need a high point dead eye to match with a red zone threat that's that's just beautiful it's beautiful to put together and it's a very high level combination of put because if you throw it high and they need they need to go up and get it they're going to get it um another good one is agile or anchored extender which means if they blitz a corner off the edge that means they're going to break that first sack and then you can keep going but after that it will be a tackle after that so if you want to keep that on you can i wouldn't put that up there as one of the things that you would need because if you know how to make a read step up in a pocket do things of that nature it will benefit you to not even have that on and with how blitzes are in the game right now where there's this the loop inside of three three uh normal whereas a gaps anything a gaps worthy is not going to work with anchor and agile extender because those are blitzing dvs on the outside now if they do have a loop in the inside i've seen people break tackles with them in the inside as well but most majority it is going to be linebackers that's going to be blitzing at your quarterback or the linebacker position being black. I mean, being blitzed right at you. So you probably wouldn't even need it. Um, fast break. Now, if you need a quarterback that's going to run you the ball, then we're going, we're not even going to stay here in Buffalo. We're going to go to Baltimore. You guys already know who I'm talking about. That man, Lama, Lama. Now, we're gonna go ahead and give you guys the perfect stack to a rushing quarterback. Fast break is really good because if you go into QB power, read option, well, not actually, well, maybe. I don't know if it works for read option, but I'm pretty sure fast breaks works. It's designed quarterback run play. So like a QB power, QB sneak, things of that nature. Fast break definitely helps out with the blocking. You know what I'm saying? Quick draw, jukebox, tight out is what he normally has on him, tight out. Basically, if he throws to his tight end, it's basically, this is the CFM's version of gift wrap for corners. I mean, not corners, for tight ends. Now, if you want it for the running back, then the running back equivalent of gift wrapped is, where's that safety valve? You have safety valve and tight out in your lineup. It's basically gift wrapped for those positions. Now, the gift wrapped, apparent to the wide receiver wise is deep in deep out mid in mid out short in short out right because whatever is thrown within those numbers is going to get caught from them most likely but if they do have knockouts that will be the counter to it so it's same thing with gift wrapped and mutt if you do come up with a knockout it's going to get knocked out as well but that's the closest you're going to get to gift wrap since it's not here in the game for CFM and same thing with lurk artists. There's no lurk artist when it comes to um, CFM. You only got lurker, pick artist, and acrobat. So you're gonna have to find some ways to make it work until they decide they wanna bring that over to CFM, which I don't see happening very, very well. So you can have a fast break. You can have a quick draw. I, I wouldn't mind quick draw here in this situation, but you can have a bulldozer. I don't know why you would want your quarterback to truck unless you have a Cam Newton. Unless you have, um, let's just say, a, I don't know about Baker, but you guys know what I mean. If you, if you want to, you can use a bulldozer if you want to. Spin cycle, I would highly suggest if you just have evasive, but because they don't have evasive, jukebox and spin cycle together basically is evasive together. So you can put those on as well um other things that you can use to help the run is basically what he already has it's jukebox fast break spin cycle it's best things to have 
Now, if you do want to throw the ball, I highly suggest a gunslinger, pass lead elite, set feet lead, fearless. You need to have at least one passing ability with all these running ones that you have because you cannot be one dimensional. Now, you could throw the ball without a throwing ability, but it definitely helps you out more if you just put a fearless on, right? Quick draw, you can have a quick draw on too, but I will rather just go ahead and use Hot Route Master. So fast break, jukebox, tight out, fearless, Hot Route Master. I feel like those will help you out the best. Now trust, you know, you run that one yard like six times, you get to sit here and have it, you know? Or, as a matter of fact, I'll get to that in a second. You can have a jukebox, tight out, fast break, but if you don't care, about the blocking on the design QB run and you want to do something different, you can go ahead and throw in a throwing ability in there. You can throw a spin cycle in there or you can throw a homer on. Now, throwing a homer on when you know you're playing home games, instead of rushing for a yard six times, you get it for three, right? Um, You can have a closer where it's actually easier for you to get into the zone in the second half. But, um... Same thing with clutch. Clutch is basically a homer and a closer built in together, which means they stay in the zone and it's easier for them to get in the zone. So basically this becomes like an AKA X factor, right? So that clutch, even if he gets tackled in the backfield, he stays in the zone. So clutch is very, very underrated. Like if you don't have anything else to put on for when it comes to your abilities, put a clutch on. It basically boosts up your X factor so you don't get knocked out. And it's very, very glitchy if you think about it. Now, the X factors that you will need for running the ball is trust or freight train. All right. It's kind of easier in the quarterback standpoint to have trust on because then you wouldn't fumble for the rest of the game. It's very, very glitchy. You can do this when you're running back as well. But some leagues, they do sit here and ban trust on a running back because basically if you run the ball six times and you get a yard every six yards, now for the rest of the game, you combine it with clutch, you will not fumble for the rest of the game. And it's basically an AKA X factor on your team. So that's why it's banned for running backs in some leagues. Some leagues just do not care because nobody's gonna think that hard about putting their abilities on. They're just gonna sit here and try to win, throw the ball, things of that nature. Nobody's gonna think about running. So when it comes to running and they don't know how to stop the run, you can be prepared for that. Um, the best abilities to have, in my opinion, is dots. If you have great um, you have great accuracy, no matter where you throw it with dots, if you can second the pass to five plus yards in the air. So if you throw it to the running back and get seven yards, boom. You throw it to the wide receiver, a little slant, right? You get five yards, boom. You can methodically get down the field you can mix in the run as well. Then throw the ball for another five yards. Boom, now Dots is activated. Now you have all perfect accuracy throughout everybody. Um, another thing that you can do is have running gun. Same thing with Dots and with Gambit, you know what I'm saying? Brick wall is basically making second to passes for five plus in the air. Now you got running gun. So now when you're on the run, it's basically a dashing dead eye as an X factor. Um, Next, Omaha. If you make a second of passes, you're going to see the opponent's play art. A lot of people love this. It's basically one of the meta X factors to have in the game. But if you kind of have a, a tell of what they're doing, you kind of don't need it. And you can kind of use a bazooka to add some more throw power to somebody like a Lamar Jackson. He has 93 throw power already. He has great throw power. But if you want to add that boost up for extra 30 plus yards, that basically puts him up to a 97, 98 throw power type quarterback and can throw that ball deep like he really needs to. Um, pro reads, like it ignores defensive pressure. Somebody's in your face, it basically becomes a fearless in that type of way. So you could use that here with Blitz Radar. All blitzing linebackers is highlighted. It's basically like, yeah, and it shows it can be bluffed. So if you put like a bluff blitz out there, it shows that he's gonna blitz. You'd be like, oh yeah, let me go and prep for that. But really why I don't like blitz radar is because it gets you paranoid. It gets you paranoid to sit here and think that, oh, somebody's really blitzing when they not. You start blocking extra people and then they go back into a zone. Now you only got three or four people out on a route and it kind of messes you up. So that's why I kind of don't like that gambit. 
it increased you can't be intercepted by ai defenders and has increased throw speed which i never knew gambit had now gambit increased throw speed it kind of neglates having let I me mean, not having gunslinger so basically it has a gunslinger in there but then you can't be intercepted by ai defenders if somebody's using it then it pretty much just doesn't matter unless you're playing against the computer to be honest with you or if you throw it to somebody they're not they're not going to pick it off i don't know gambit i might have to I might have to throw in gambit and see how it works but i seen aaron Rodgers with this a few years ago and i thought oh this would be cool but really pretty much didn't really work out that way but um yeah i would say have dots i would say omaha running gun and bazooka those are the best x factors to have for um a quarterback and if you want to you can throw the pro, uh, pro reads out there i think that that's five so i'll say Bazooka, uh, omaha one bazooka two no dots two bazooka three running gun four pro reads five those are pretty much the best ones to have and but, uh, i forgot about trust so basically omaha one dots two trust three running uh bazooka four five running gun six pro reads i'll do that in that order so that's the abilities that you can do for the quarterback now let's go for the running backs and let's go to somebody named Sheshquan barkley you know what i'm saying now as a matter of fact no let's actually go to the browns and go to my man's nick chubb all right now the best abilities to have from running back like i said you can have the bruiser no the basically it's uh let's go ahead and put this out first actually this question are you going to be more of a uh power runner where are you trying to lower that shoulder borrow somebody over or are you just trying to be that elusive back to basically get out there do what you need to do or you want to be an all-around back and you want to have both receiving and rushing abilities on your running back now let's go ahead and get that to y'all man here bruiser ballast being reached for us but he has normally bruiser is really nice which gives you powerful truck and stiff arm so basically that's a bulldozer and an arm bar put together you can have bruiser bruiser ba basically is this is all over. it's basically the evasive for a power back the evasive is basically a juke and spin bruiser is basically a truck and stiff arm so basically that's four abilities in two so if you have it unlocked put on evasive put on evasive um but here in a cfm standpoint jukebox is incredibly op now even if you don't have that much juke move let's just say he has 87 juke move so that's basically perfect jukebox is going to get you out of so many 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 like bad situations it's ridiculous but if you have somebody that has high juke and it's elusive already you probably don't need it especially when you master it but it's basically one of the best abilities in cfm to have if somebody hits you with a jukebox and it jukes out three people don't be shocked because jukebox is that is that nice now you can have a tank and you can have backlash on as well this was most likely my stack last year where you have bruiser jukebox tank and backlash tank is basically any hit stick is going to get bounced off of me and then if i do with a bruiser and truck you that's a truck animation that i'm going to get off and then backlash is basically when they tackle me when a non to tackle basically with an x tackle or they spam a or try to like wrap me up they will lose fatigue when they try to tackle me because of backlash now you could have a goal line back but that's only for like the red zone if you don't feel like that you want to have these two on you could have a reach for it if you are one of them and you want to bring back that style of mat and you can have a reach for it um ballot beam if you get tripped up he's going to instantly pick himself back up with ballast beam that was a thing last a few years but i haven't really tested out that much this year you could put it on because you might not know you could get tripped up and you could stay up for one more extra yard or maybe keep up and go in for a touchdown you could do that but my pacific stack that i like to use i'm not using tank i'm using energizer and i'm using second wind now 
why am I using Second Wind and Energizer together when not a lot of people sit here and use it? Now, Energizer and Second Wind, you can easily get this as soon as you get to like an 80 overall. Why am I still using this at a higher overall? Energizer, it report, uh, replenish a portion of their stamina upon successfully performing any skill move. So pair that up with the Juke move, which is a skill move and a truck and stiff arm. I'm pretty sure it qualifies as a skill move as well. You do that successfully. If your bar is at like a 48% after you do this move, which you will do, it goes right back up. Same thing with second win. It has a chance to replenish their stamina once per play when it's half depleted. So basically if you do a juke and it's at half, it goes right back up with a second win. Keep going. Now you're here to do another move. Then Energizer will kick in and re-put that back up. So that means you can do all the moves that you can do. You won't get tired after doing jukes, 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 and you'll keep your stamina. So I feel like it's very, very OP to have the second win Energizer jukebox combination on, and then you can do whatever you want with this. Either you can have the bruiser or you can have the tank. You can have the backlash. You can have the short and elite because if they go out for a route and go for out route, in route, wheel route, they're most likely going to catch this with the short and elite, which is only less than 10 yards from the line of scrimmage. That's the only way that it's going to go. So, I mean, you know, like to have it on. Like, if you have a wheel route and you throw it in there underneath 10 yards, you're most likely going to catch it. And that's why I guess nice little sneaky one in there. So, if you want to, if you feel like they're going to run the ball and you hit them up with an out route, hit them with a wheel route, hit them with an option route, it's going to be underneath 10 yards. So, that's when short end is going to go in the play. But my perfect stack is instead of jukebox, I'm going to have evasive, which helps better with juke and spin animations. So I'll have the evasive, second wind, energizer, and basically any else, anything else that you want here for your running back. So basically a backlash, a tank, um, bruiser, or even if I wanted to, I could have a matchup nightmare, which basically if you're covered by a lineman, basically a D lineman or a linebacker, he's most likely going to catch the ball over them anyway. Um, or a grab and go. They won't sacrifice speed if you catch the ball and turn to make a move. Then the after do you start running, then the speed's gonna go through. A human joystick is the only thing that will be needed in current gen. Now, I haven't tested this out for next gen because it says you can shift momentum, change direction, and turn a corner without sacrificing speed. Basically, if you're moving that's the left stick, left and right frame to turn or whatever, you're not gonna sacrifice that much speed. So maybe the human joystick evasive energizer second win might be good on next gen. I will have to test that out though. When I do test it out, we could come back to you. But as a matter of fact, just for right now, either short end, backlash, actually backlash would not be that bad because it's more you keep running the ball their user will be so tired you'd be like what happened is that stand glitch thing no i still have second win going into play so that's what we'll do here for the wide receiver i mean for the running backs for it for x factor like i said trust is already number one freight train is number two all right freight train a lot of people use this freight train is definitely something that you can use um this right here truck is stiff arm pretty much don't really need it um first one free after you go ahead and break that first tackle is guaranteed then you can go ahead and do that or if you're catching the ball you can have a satellite max security ankle breaker most likely number one is going to be trust number two is going to be freight train number three will be first one free number four will be wrecking ball those are the x factors you're probably going to need for the running back and now let's go ahead and show you guys what to do for wide receivers slash tight ends. Now we're gonna sit here and show you guys the best uh, abilities to have for the wide receivers. And we're gonna go to the 99 overall Jay Jettas, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna give you guys all the abilities unlocked so you can go and see what you can do with each one. And we're gonna start out here at the first slot. If you have a quarterback with hot route master, you do not need this, but if you can't get it yet and you have an ability wide receiver, you need route apprentice. You get this later on, like maybe at an 85. I'm pretty sure at a 90 overall, so it's gonna be a while. But if you cannot get route apprentice, get wide receiver apprentice, 
if you can't get wide receiver apprentice go with outside apprentice which is already here outside apprentice or a slot apprentice you can actually stack the apprentices up until you get what you need route tech i actually haven't seen a lot of route tech working as of late but you can put that on or put a slot o matic on definitely helps you out there but technically in my opinion the best stack here is a short out short in mid in and deep in or deep out so basically here in this situation i will have short in short out mid out deep out if you let's just say you're out in a trips formation that you guys are going to see right here on the screen basically the fall wide receiver all the way on the left side is you're going to need short out mid out deep out and then you can do whatever else that you want here wide receiver is wise because no matter what happens outside of the numbers it's going to be a catch a curl i mean not a curl a comeback route a streak or a crosser going towards the outside numbers it's going to get caught majority of the time now let's just say that you're here in a slot the slot difference is now short in mid in and deep in sits here and works as anything inside the numbers is going to be caught It's basically when you throw it to him he's going to catch it every single time way more consistently now what i like to do for my wide receivers i like to have short out and short in because basically when you come up against somebody with um that's pressing you that short out and short in is going to kick in for the route but as of late i think they kind of changed the narrative of it to where now it's more catches are consistent outside and inside the numbers for each one i still feel like short out and short end is great for like the press it kind of helps you out with the release and things of that nature but if it doesn't then that's where you put the route tech on um what you call it and this only happens on the last um the last cut of a route doesn't even help with on the press so that's why it's like i need to have that short in and short out on them anyway short in short out if i feel like that's this wide receiver is going to be a deep bomb it's going to be like towards the outside things of that nature I have a short out short in deep out deep in if you want to catch the ball within the inside you can catch the ball within the inside but this would be a nice little stack to have no matter what it's going you're going to catch the ball no matter what as long as it's underneath 10 yards and it's over 20 yards or if you want to change the deep out into a mid end so short and short out mid in deep in short and short out mid and deep out you can do that combination as well but um another thing that you could do is a red zone threat inside of here as well with the short and short out and you can technically turn into a mid and in red zone threat this is most likely you, you can use for a slot this would be great for slot um short and short out mid in and red zone threat or you can have um what else can you have on acrobat which is crazy they put acrobat as a wide receiver ability now now you could have it on just everybody just have short in short out deep in or mid in and then have an acrobat so you know that they're sitting here and going to catch the ball for you anytime you need to and then you can rock out like that but there's many different things that you can do now for the tryhards or for the people that has two ability wide receivers that wants to help out with run blocking right this is where it starts getting a little bit wild a little bit wicked so have the short and short out and then you will go to honorary lineman and runoff elite runoff elite it will distract defenders for for longer with their runoffs so with certain run plays the wide receivers go straight up they go straight up and helps the running back get out into those certain lanes and basically distracts the cornerback from getting towards the running back and basically blocks them for even longer and the only um the only counter to this is is i think it's i forgot what it was called for the corner i will go ahead and uh check it right now if we have um if you have it on harrison smith but the only uh, the only thing that you can do to stop that is where is that oh we might need to see it on a corner i don't think i don't think safeties have it which is wild i never knew safeties didn't have it 
Um, so let's go to a corner that has abilities. It's called On the Ball. Players with this ability are less likely to be fooled by wide receiver runoffs. So basically, like in a drag, I mean, not in a drag, in a draw, halfback draw, the wide receivers will go out like they're doing a route and it will distract the wide receivers. Nobody is going to have this ability on. The only reason why somebody will have this ability on is if they see your abilities at wide receiver and wants to counter it. That's the only way to do that. But to do that, you're going to need to take out one of your acrobats, your zone knockouts, man knockouts, just to add on the ball on. So it's definitely something that very, very few people would have. But let me tell you, if it's on, it's going to get a little wicked. Um, so run off elite on a rare lineman, which helped you with impact blocks with the wide receivers. So basically some of the best blocking wide receivers in the game, like, uh, George Pickens or DK Metcalf, they'll sit here and hold on to the block, like an actual lineman and hold on to them until you actually leave. And they can't get off that block because they're holding on to them like a lineman. So honorary lineman runoff elite is two things that you could have on your wide receiver to help you out with the block. So if you come out in the I form and you have a wide, a wide receiver that holds onto a block, but then it gets shedded. And now you, it's, it could have turned to like a, from a 30 yard gain to like a five. That's when you would have the runoff elite or the honorary lineman on. You really only need an honorary lineman on, but if you do certain type of runs and stuff, you might need runoff elite to help you out as well um but yeah that's kind of a stack that you can have for running the ball um what you could have as well is basically just a route tech if you don't want to short in short out just basically have a route tech on and a short in if they're in a slot route tech and short out if they're on the outside whether it's running or passing the ball you can do that combination as well and then just take out the honorary lineman for i mean and run off elite for basically your deep outs deep ends acrobats things of that nature now, the best abilities for an X Factor to have, I hate to say it, is still Double Me. Double Me is still the best. It's not as consistent as it was back in the day because it, like in Madden 21, if you guys remember Madden 21, I don't even have to say anything, but the animation based year, you will get every animation that you needed for Double Me to work if you had Double Me lit up. It was ridiculous. So, Double Me is still there because you can still get those cheesy little deep out, deep in animations and catch the ball. Number two, I feel like what I would use more than deep out is yak them up. After you make a 20 yard reception, if I'm throwing the ball deep and I just hold on to X to, to literally run with the ball, he's going to catch it. Rack them up is basically the same thing, but it's against, uh, oh no, actually it's rack them up that I would use because after you catch the ball when single coverage, he's basically gone. Yak them up is basically there after the catch, you're going to get that yards after catch. That's what yak means. Uh, you'll break the cycle. So basically, it's a freight train for the wide receiver. Um, so yak them up. If I catch the ball, boom, and I'm sitting here and going to make a move. If somebody sits here and tries to tackle me, I'm going to break that tackle off and I'm going to keep going. So basically, it's a freight train for the wide receiver. That's actually a very good one. And they give you wrecking ball. They give you first one free. Um, max security is most likely more of of what you call it is more for the tight end if you possession catch with a tight end most likely they're not going to knock it out but if you have if you have somebody in the slot that's not as fast and you don't and you know that they're going into a flat zone ko mid zone ko deep out zone ko deep end zone ko you can have the max security on they will not lose the ball on knockouts but because it's a knockout ability i wouldn't see this working and being a counter to it but you can honestly put it on see if it works with max security and with some of the stuff that we i haven't used personally if you guys use these abilities yourself let me know how it works for you or if it doesn't work for you let's all help each other out in the comments down below um then with ankle breaker same thing with um same thing as a running back grab, uh, grab and smash increased chance on trucks and step farm so basically it's a bulldozer for the wide receiver but yeah if i had to rank them double me will be one Yak them up two, rack them up three. And those will be the ones that uh, you will have to put on your wide receiver. Now, if we go over to the tight ends, you feel me? 
let's go over to the best tight end that you guys can have in the league and that's travis kelsey um right here the best thing is you can have on them if like i said if you do not have hot route master on your quarterback you have a quarterback that doesn't really give you those hot routes you can have route apprentice or you can have actually no you can just have route apprentice route apprentice is the only thing you can have for that you can have a slot apprentice you got motion them out and then the slot apprentice will happen but there is supposedly a tight end apprentice as you can see i see here so either if you can have a route apprentice or you can have a tight end apprentice it's very very huge especially for the trips tight end or anything that specializes with the tight end and you need those certain routes um here short out short in you can use those as well if they are which not a lot of them are you you can you just you use jukebox but i wouldn't see a fit for it um you could use slot automatic if you want to you could just go with the normal the normal wide receiver stacks as well with the you can actually do this you can do short in mid in and deep out because it's past 20 yards so anything underneath 20 yards inside the numbers you can go and use but then we have a, a corner route cross route going towards the sidelines that's when deep out comes in you're going to go ahead and catch those and at the tight end apprentice this is probably one of the best stacks you can have as a tight end if you have all five or if you have three and two you're gonna to have to do what you can do until you get other abilities now for a blocking tight end right uh they give you offensive line chemistries for the d tackle and we're gonna to go to the offensive lines in a second but um what you can do you can have secure protector so if you see somebody with an edge threat and you want to have extra blocking or whatever you can have a secure protector or an edge wait i thought an edge protector was on here i guess not so you can have secure protector right secure protector on all the old linemen actually works but here on the tight end is actually you need actual blocking let me see what's his blocking here it's not the worst but it's not good he's basically more of a receiver but he does have it enough to where you can actually get the secure protector and stuff like that if your blocking is up to 85 and things of that nature um you can have secure protector on um you can have matter i don't know why you would have matador on bull rush yeah if somebody's on the outside you probably wouldn't even need matador uh you can have screen protector so if you have a screen play and your tight end goes out for either your tight end goes out for a route or he's the one blocking you can have screen protector on you can also for a blocker you can have all day on as well and last but not least you could have a second wind on or a recuperation on because basically if you're doing all that blocking and you're going out for plays uh going out to catch routes and all that definitely going to need a recuperation and stuff just like that just to basically help out with your stamina and kind of counter with that or you can basically just stuff them out and bring them back in but most likely all day secure protector um route tech and a short end really or you can use um what's the other one you can use mid out deep out you can use those as well so that basically helps you on that last cut to bring separation but with the tight ends and certain uh routes you kind of don't need it for route tech so basically i will come back and counter it with a short end short end deep out all day secure protector will be a nice balance so if I'm going for a run play and I use my tight end to block, I can go over to that side and know that he's going to hold on to that block because it's a care protector and because of all day. Now, same thing, X factor wise wide receivers is for tight ends. Double me is basically number one, but number one for a blocking tight end is having Vanguard. If you make 10 yards receptions with a tight end, basically you keep doing this, I think it's basically three or five times you can sit here and nearly guarantee dominant impact block wins for the rest of the game. So he basically becomes that that threat of a blocker when Vanguard is on. Vanguard's actually been banned from certain pro um, games for a lot of money 
and has been banned for um, CFMs as well. So it's actually been very, very good. Like you keep passing it to him for 10 yards, whatever, da da da, keep that going up. And then you start running the ball, he becomes a real, real dominant blocker. So you can definitely use that if you want to. Max security is definitely another one. Like I said, I will say this is more of a tight end X factor than it will be for a wide receiver, unless everything is short to you. But um, yeah. So in this aspect, number one would be Vanguard, in my opinion, because if you're already throwing it to your tight end, they're doing great things. You actually don't need to keep throwing the ball anymore. It's just keep running the ball, keep running the ball, running the ball, running the ball. Even if they fumble, this still stays on throughout the whole game. Just throw it to them. Like consecutive passes not targeted is what's going to make this X factor go away. So throw it to him. Throw it to him like right before he loses it catches it go keep running the ball even more it's going to be very very annoying to have this vanguard on so i'll say vanguard one double me two uh all together because like i said depending on how the game goes you could run with vanguard as a normal x factor other than double me um but as it is moment right now vanguard one double me two max security three and Um, yeah, I come up for it. I come up for it. But yeah, that's what you would use for your tight ends. And let's go over to the offensive line. Offensive line. Let's go over to the 49ers. Because I know one of the best, if not the best, in the game. Trent Williams. Got everything. You have four. And he basically already has the stack that you probably need. On the outsides for left tackles and right tackles edge protector or secure protector all day post up nasty street already has they're ready for me now if you don't want all day you can easily go with a threat detector like i said earlier threat detector helps you out realizing who um is going to be blitzing on your team um so that means you can take that slot away from the quarterback and put it on to um your quarterback i mean it basically put it on your own line so your quarterback doesn't use it and then if you would like um but yeah basically he has everything that you need on double team blocks if you if you want to double team somebody the post up is going to help out a lot um and sometimes the offensive line will go with double team for him so you don't have to put in the double team for him nasty streak helps out with the run so you definitely need that all day uh if they're if you id somebody to block them all day definitely works and edge protector basically if it, it counters an edge threat so that's the best thing is that you have on the left tackle. If you want help with the left guard in that aspect, then we're going to go back to Trent Williams to basically show you. No, actually, no, 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 no. We can actually go to Dallas and basically show you from the Zach Martin, one of the best, if not the best guards in the game. Um, right here, you could do a screen protector. Here, you could use a post up. Here is Nasty Streak and also Puller Elite. Okay, puller elite when you have some runs like a base or basically some some draws or some runs like that where they have a pulling guard. This definitely helps you out with those guards. You don't need it all the time, but puller elite definitely does those does his job. Nasty streak like literally if he goes against a linebacker or defensive back, he's literally bowling them over. Like as soon as he gets to that second level and see a linebacker, he's pushing them down. You literally can run right behind him. Nasty streak is gonna help you out. Then you can get sticky with your juke, uh, jukebox and things of that nature. And then screen protector helps you out with the pass. Same thing with post up. These two basically more for the pass, these two basically for the run. It's the best thing to have on the guards and things of that nature. And it also helps with your centers as well. Pull early, you can actually, actually the pull early doesn't work most likely for your center, but if it's one of those runs where the center has to go out for a run too, it's great to have that on as well. But these are basically the best abilities to have on a guard and center. Nasty streak, puller elite, post up, screen protector. Basically helps out with all those aspects. Yeah. Basically, you're going to have that stack of an O line. You can literally have this on. Literally, nasty streaks on all your offensive line. Then you have your nice little bulldozers and things of that nature with the running back. You can make a nasty scheme and running the ball with your quarterback running back even your tight end and just going straight on full abilities on your d-line i mean o-line it's definitely some nasty things you can do with that 
but that's it for part one we did just straight to offense this video we're going to go ahead and cut it into two parts to kind of help you guys out with the defensive ones later on so if you guys are waiting for that make sure you guys go ahead and leave a like comment down below other stuff you guys would like to know about here at cfm we get all questions answered help each other out in the chat because we are a community at the end of the day and we gotta help each other out we're all family you know what i'm saying so leave a like comment down below subscribe if you guys are new and as always folks peace out